and just like magic, she is completed. And I'm very excited to wear this gown. I'm gonna feel like such an amazing tree queen in this thing. It's gonna be awesome. I did these sketches for my concept of my weirwood gown. And what I'm gonna do is mostly like the one on the left that I colored, except instead of doing the small neck corset, I'm actually gonna do the stand-up collar the way I drew it on the right. So I cut out my corset for the Weirwood gown. I even cut bias tape. <laughs> and um, I've already done a tutorial on how I make the bias tape on my Patreon. If you guys wanna know more about it, um, you can find it there. Um, let me know if you want a video and I can make that too. Okay, I put the corset together. Here you can see what it looks like. It's got um, mostly spiral steel boning and then I have flat steels at the back surrounding the grommets. And I also added a modesty panel in the back because um, this will be my main garment, right? So um, I wanted to cover any skin showing or uh, undergarments because I usually like to wear a um, tank top or a tube top underneath to um, like protect a layer between my skin and the corset. This is my underskirt. So the fabric is this gradient from like a deep burgundy red to white. And I actually had this printed so I didn't have to dye it myself. And um, I'll make that available. So if you guys actually wanna purchase the print that I already submitted in the same place I did, you can. So um, I was kind of modifying a skirt pattern I already had made for the underneath skirt on this one. So I may play with it a little bit more before I cut it out. So anyway, let's go ahead and lace up the corset. So this is known as the double spiral method and um, I'm going to just do this really quick for the video, but I do have another video which I'll link where you can see like in really great depth how I do this. All right, corset is laced, yes. So now this corset is actually, well, it's a structural corset. I mean, if all I wanted was a plain white satin corset, I'd be done, whoa. But I'm not done because I'm making a cool weirwood gown. So this guy is gonna be getting embellished. Okay, so I played with the shape of the skirt just a little bit more and I decided to give it just a slight bit of flare at the bottom. So this is how my pieces look once they're cut out. They've got that really good burgundy at the top and then this white at the bottom. Yay! Now that I cut up that entire piece of foliage, I've got lots of leaves to put on my dress. Okay, fast forward a little bit. Um, I went ahead and pumped out some of the sewing work. 
So I did complete my corset. It is a white corset with the stand up, like, you know, wing parts. And then I did complete my pencil skirt. And then I also created this train skirt. Um, I made this out of white satin. It's a duchess satin. It is also lined. And then I have horse hair at the bottom to make the hem stand out a bit more. This is a really long white skirt I'm going to be wearing at a convention, so I'm also going to add bustle hooks to it so I can, you know, pick it off, off the ground. Um, and then these are my sleeve pieces. I have just pinned them to the arms right now to kind of see how they look. Um, and then I made the neck corset already as well. Next I'm kind of pinning stuff on where I want it to go. And um, yeah, I just have that pinned right now. So it's important to kind of see what stuff looks like, I think, before I really start sewing it down. So what I have left is like really just a lot of embellishments. It's gonna be a uh, embellishment heavy week for me to finish this up. So I actually sewed all of this lace onto my big train skirt um, using the sewing machine. I'm actually pretty proud of being able to do that. Um, I just kind of followed where the lace was and I pinned, you know, very carefully where I wanted things to go. And then I just sewed really slowly. Um, it was still faster than doing it by hand. <laughs> um, and this is a really, really big train. so. I'm glad it worked out and now I'm actually just pinning like all my leaves onto the dress and I'm just kind of like playing with it you know like see where I want to put them and um, I'm using these like little chiffon ones and these fake foliage ones so I will keep doing that <laughs> I'm gonna be making a headpiece to go with this dress this is the crown piece for my headband so it sits pretty much straight up on the head, but it's still rather curved um, because of the way your head is shaped. So jumping ahead a little bit, I sewed on even more leaves and I put some branch pieces down here to the corset and one across here. I also completed the side things with the sleeves hanging down and I've got branches coming up in the back. Um, and then I worked on the headpiece. A crown for a tree queen.
If you guys want to see more of my work, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications as well as follow me on social media. And I also put out my videos early and I put out additional exclusive content and tutorials on Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd love to see you there too. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.